The objective of the elimination method is to try and eliminate one of the variables. To start, I'm going to take the second equation, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by negative 4. What this does is it gives y a coefficient of negative 4, which is the same coefficient as in the first equation with an opposite sign. So now when I bring this, the first equation down, and I go ahead and add the two equations, the y variable will cancel out. So now you're left with an equation and one variable, just x. Now I want to try solving for x. But what ends up happening is the x's cancel each other out. So now I've eliminated both variables. When that happens, you just want to see is it a true or false statement. Since it's 0 equal to negative 3, that's a false statement, which means it's a no solution. When you look at the graph, notice that both lines are parallel to each other. No intersection points. That's why there's a no solution.